Hello and welcome back to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Now as you can see, it currently is Harvest Fest. And for some reason, it isn't showing up on Mandy's screen, but it is on the babies. So I don't know what's going on there, probably some kind of glitch. Anyway, let's pause gameplay for a minute, because I wanted to show you something a little bit interesting. Now if I go on to Aluna, and go into her family tree... I'll just pull that up. You will see that her father is Adfaith Srinvason, who is actually married to Lavina Srinvason, also known as Lavina Chopin. I do believe it is. I might be wrong, guys. I might be wrong. But she is actually the mayor of Crumplebottom, which is Henford on Beagler. So that is quite interesting. So that makes her a stepmother to Luna and Lisette. And Rahul, which is actually the delivery boy on he in Henford, is her stepbrother. So I found that quite interesting. Also, I have read that if you do have like a cult sims in, if anyone finds out that they're either a vampire or an alien, then they have to be banished to the household and not spoken to. But that's a bridge we'll come to when we come to it, guys. It's quite simple. Now, at the moment, we have Mandy working on a book. Anna's birthday is actually tomorrow. And Tomax is Anna's father. And the twins' birthday is in six days. And obviously they belong to the doctor. Now hopefully Mandy is pregnant now with vampire babies. Let's speed it up a bit while she does this book. Because she's probably going to have to make some food shortly. Hopefully it's not going to take her too long. While the babies are quite content. Oh god they're doing better than what I thought. Excellent job, guys. Excellent job. Let Mandy just finish this book. Sorry, Caleb. You've done your do, dude. It is now time for me to focus on my twins. And I think we also have... If we go into our friends panel... Noah, who hasn't daddied a baby yet. So that's our next baby daddy. I also want to uh, have babies to some aliens so i think we're going to have to go out one night and try and find alien night now i know they do have it at the bars and such can she potty on her own no she can't uh, let's ask mandy for a potty help so i think that would be good if we can get a couple of alien babies in the household as well Right, so that's potty help for Anna. And then I'm going to get Mandy to go and make some food. Now, let's see what we have on the agenda. So for dinner, let's do some meats if we can. And I am going to do beef patty with cocoa bread. Let's do a beef wellington and push the bowl out. 118 simoleons for beef wellington, guys. That is absolutely scandalous. Come on, baby. Squeeze that head. Ooh. Squeeze that head, girl. There we go. And that's potty time for you. Mandy is going to make her beef wellington. And me try to appease the gnomes. Or better still, I might just put them in my inventory and sell them, guys. Because there's nothing in the real to say that I can't do that. So, we'll get this beef wellington done. We'll put it down for the girls to get some food. So, if you can call to meal. Mandy, dear. Thank you. Right, so, the girls should be coming over some for some food. Anna, wake up, sweetheart. Come and get some food before you sleep. 
Look at that. Look at that little outfit. That is beautiful. It's like a little tutu, isn't it? Oh, do you know what, guys? I'm putting the gnomes in my inventory. Right, come here, gnomes. All of them, manned it. And I'm sorry, guys. They do get a bit annoying. So, I'm just going to sell them. So we can do the extra 730. I'm going to have to expand my house a little bit also. And Mandy could do with getting rid of all this out of her inventory. So if I just tell her to clean up her inventory. Let's see where we are at. Now, Anna is very sad. Anna, can you just go to bed, Poppin? Why can't she sleep? She's too scared. Oh, she had a nightmare. Oh, she had a nightmare, guys. She had a nightmare. There's no attention left. And she has got the picky eater quirk. Let's say hello to Vlad. Always room for a few more vampires in our life. Right, so Anna's now had a bath. Can you sleep? No, she still can't sleep. Even though she's doing a pretty good job of it herself. Right, so I'm going to leave Anna like that because apparently she can't sleep. Lu uh, Lisette needs a bath. Uh, Luna needs a bath, sorry. And Lisette is okay. So, I think... I was just going to say, I think I'm going to let Mandy get a little bit of sleep. Who's awake? Lisette. And why have you just woke up to go on your computer? Now, right, give her a bubble bath. No, she just changed her nappy. She still needs a bath, though. Can you... Luna, uh, Lisette, sorry. I keep getting them mixed up, guys. They are twins, after all. Right, so she hates being carried. Right, so, Vladdy's been a little bit horrible right now. Let me go to the toilet. Let me... Potty help... Lisette. Luna, sorry. Uh, Lisette. Jeez, guys, I did it again. I had it right first time. So, a bit of potty help on there. Now, they have to be levelled up to level 3 in all the skills, and it's just not happening, guys. I'm just going to let them age up themselves. They're already unhappy infants, so I can't really do anything about it. There goes Vlad, just emptying my bin randomly. Vlad! Caleb is much more suiting than you are. He's being a right dork at the moment, guys. And that I will not tolerate. So, potty time ahead. Did you do it? Did you squeeze your head? Hooray! Right, so, she's been trained in potty. She also wants to go to sleep, but she needs fed also. So, I'm just going to open this. I'm going to take the food out. And go and grab yourself a serving. And then you can take yourself to sleep, my little lady. And down she blows, guys. Down she blows. What's that? So that's going in the bin. Right, sweetheart. Can you just finish eating that, please? And then I can put you to bed. And then Mande can go to bed also. Mande, can you sleep, please? Because hopefully Mande's going to do as she's told just for a little while anyway. Right, so baby is fed. You go to sleep, princess. There we go. And jobs are good for the night, guys. Jobs are good. So, the whole household is now awake. Uh, Lisette. Luna, Lisette is in a bit of a grumpy mood because she's overtired because she didn't really sleep in the night and she does need a bath 
she's hungry, but I've just put food out for her. Can you please eat that? So, Anna's hungry. Luna needs a bath. And Mandy has to go and fix the toilet. So, let's speed time on, peeps. Let's speed time on. So, Luna will be getting a bath. Off Mandy. And then Mandy has to get on. Can you give her a bath, please? Give a bubble bath to Luna. And then you can fix your toilet pet. And if you can just do as you're told, that would be awesome. Because Mandy doesn't like to do as she's told, guys. See, she just doesn't like to do it. Bath your child, Mandy. Right, Luna, where is your food petal? Because I'm taking that food. Give... Right. Let me reset her, because she'll drop that plate. And then I'm just going to put that in there because that food's good to go. Now, we'll try that again. Take a bath. Give your child a bath, Mandy, please. For the 15th time. Finally. And then Mandy can go and repair this toilet and make some food. Now, Tomax keeps asking if she wants to go to places and such, but it's just not happening, peeps. It's not happening. I think Mandy's in her second trimester. Yes. Third trimester in 14 hours. So she's got a little bit to go right now. The two girls are outside playing, which is really rather sweet. And she's reached her communication level, which is also good. No, you can't come and hang out, dude, because you're phoning me to hang out with me. Now, if he was phoning the child, I'd probably let him round. Right, so she's getting food. I also want to cook some food. So we're going to do some dinner. And we're going to give them a bit of a vegetable dinner, I think. So, aubergine parmesan. Or angry flaming spaghetti. Let's do some fettuccino instead. Because that is a little bit cheaper. And that'll have them set up. Mother needs to sleep. Baby needs to feed. We'll get rid of that. Uh, Mandy? Mandy, no. Right, so Max, what would you like? Hi, Mandy. I've been thinking about getting to know Masaru and O better. I don't know. I'm not sure because I don't think I know them. So I can't really comment. Right, so get on with that cooking, girl. And then you can get some sleep. While you girls just be little rascals, you don't have to eat it, girl. You certainly don't have to eat it. Now, Anna, can you grab a serving petal? Luna? Yes, it is Luna. And Lisette is sleeping. All right, Lisette, wake up, pet. Get some dinner. Mandy! is Mandy. Right, I'm going to send her to the toilet and we're going to get some sleep. Now, these will be sorted out as soon as Mandy wakes up. I could do with the recycling but bin, but I do. Eat your food, pet. I do need to expand this place a little bit, guys. So, I think that's possibly out of the question, but we'll see. And then we'll come back when she's nearer a birth of a vampire babies. Mm, interesting. Right, so, I have had Mandy out collecting the rocks that were out here. And she's also collected some of the plants. Now, what's up with baby? She is tired. So, if you take yourself to sleep, Petal. I actually want to make the house a little bit bigger, guys. So, we're going to go into Mandy's inventory. Let's just shorten the time span because we're going a little bit too fast here. 
and we are going to sell these we took, got that out of a capsule which was in the stone at the side we got these from the back so we're going to sell these to give us a little bit more money that's 616 now she does get about 600 royalties and we are on 2968 right now so i'm going to go into build mode and i'm not going to do a build as such guys i'm just going to expand on what we already have so if I can bring each one out too, she does need a bigger property and we're not moving. So that's just the way it is, peeps. That's just the way it is. Now if I can bring the room back in, the same amount as we've took out. I think we've lost the light there. Yes, we have. So let's put that light back. We also have quite the bigger area here, don't we? And that can probably be used for something else. Let's move Mandy's bed bed back here. Hey! Oh, peeps. What on earth is going on? I'll do it again in a second. So let's pull this in two. So that gives us a bigger room right here, which means... Sorry, princess. But we can move that bed there. We can move this bed here and we can put this bed in here. So we are without door on that one. So let's move this door to there. Let's move this door to here. We have the three beds in place. I don't think I've got windows in, have I? Right, let me see. Let's add a few windows on. Just for the fun of it at this moment in time guys so what we are on the, like the normal wooden window so i'm just going to duplicate some of these and we'll get a couple of windows in the place so i'll put one there i'll put one there and what have we got here i'm going to put another one in the kitchen and another one round about there so we are looking pretty good if we go up we haven't got a roof but there's something going on here and i'm not sure what that is it might be the fact that i've not moved the roof over right so let's do that let's pull the roofs over and then hopefully we're ready to bring it in our next baby or babies as the case may be right Monday what's going on oh the bed, bed did actually move right so we've got a bigger bed for the girl bedroom for the girls sorry uh, I'm not liking the way those cots are right now let me just move these cots so I can put one there like that it's in case of twins guys because I've got on lay line on so if we have twins and we've got two cots there and I think they have to age up themselves, don't they? So I can put the bassinets in here. And I do think all the paper and everything is pretty much good to go. Right, so we'll go back onto live mode. Let's get rid of this. We do have a tantrum child. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I did kick her out of bed, to be fair. So Mandy deserves to be shouted at for my mistakes. Right, so let me grab some breakfast. Anna's fine. Luna needs a bath. So Mandy, if you can give Luna a bath, my dear, that would be good. Oh, she's singing a babe. Luna, go and ask your mama for a bath. Anna's fine. Mandy, can you give uh, your other child a bath, please? More choices. Give bubble bath to Luna. Please and thank you. That would be greatly appreciated. Four hours on that. Let's put that in the fridge. Because it's always nice to have cereal out of the fridge, people. It is. Bowls and all. You are playing in the toilet. You're not allowed. 
Let me pause it because I've got to discipline her for that. If I can. Parenting, discipline, recent behaviour. I'm going to go firm and I'm going to express my disappointment because she's playing in the toilet. So let's see her reaction. Yes. Don't play in the toilet, child. Right, toilet time. We are going to grab some leftovers. Because I'm sure every time I tell her to get leftovers, she's just not getting anything to eat whatsoever. And she does need to sleep. Now, her baby will be coming anytime. So, I think I'm going to knock off. And I think we'll come back when Manda is in labour. What a beautiful little thumbnail shot that will be. I'm just going to take a picture, guys. Don't mind me. I've got to cut it out, but... Why well, would I cut out what I would do generally? So like I said, I'm going to be playing this like I normal, normally play it. Bit of tidying up. And we are ready to welcome a new baby. I think Mandy should actually eat something like I've told her to a dozen times. Yeah, that might be a good thing. Right, friends, I brought you back because Anna has now aged up. Like I said before, she only had one day to go. So, we are going to randomise her other trait. She has one on mental, one on motor, two on social, and one on creativity. So, she's not done too bad. But we're going to randomise, and we are going to end up with erratic. Oh. My. Gosh. And as far as this one goes, I am actually going to close my eyes. Now, you're going to have to trust me on this, guys. And we are just going to hover about to see where she goes. Now, I've clicked there. What we on? Oh, multi-skill. And we're going to go... Where are we? Oh, we've gone to motor. Now, she's a rambunctious scamp. This thing wants to be playful and nimble. Right, so that's what we've got. I would have rather have had something on the multi-skill. But that is our Anna, guys. Lovely little Anna. Now, Lisette and Luna are now jokesters. I think that's quite cute. Anna needs to repair that. And she has also written a book. So, that means our Anna will now be going to school. So, Anna, if you can do your homework, pets, that would be awesome. Now, how are her needs look? Whoa! Her needs are actually uh, really good. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to give that to you. So, you now have a tablet. You're not looking... You are clever. See, they've all been bathed, they've all been fed. So, everything should be pretty good to go. And do I dare, because I do need a bed for Anna. Now I've got to go and tell this one off. Let's pause. Because she has been making a mess. I'm going firm. Express disappointment for making a mess. How dare you make a mess, young lady. Luna Hobson and Lizette Hobson. I sort of look to see who's who. Uh, but we need, do need a bed in for uh, Anna. So I'm going to come on out and we're just going to choose a bed, guys and girls. And I want a nice bed for her. And I think... See, I have got a couple of mods in, but I'm not sure whether I'll be leave it re using them or not. Sorry, people. Words. Just words. I'm going to give her this one. Because she looks like quite the tomboy, doesn't she? So she has her own little bed there. So, assign bed to Anna. So Anna now has her own bed. And I don't think we need both of these two here. So I am going to get rid of that. And I could give Anna her own room. What do you think? Should we move that over? We'll move that over. And we could actually put a wall in. Right here. Like so. We do need another light. 
so let's go to hang on a minute let's give them their light back let's take her bed and put that there and let's full screen me so I can duplicate that door and that one will go there I also need to copy the paper from there to there or do we give us some of our own I think we'll give us some of our own what wallpaper have we got now I know I have got a couple of children ones but I'm not sure whether there's going to be any to Anna's taste so I could do like the watercolour ones pretty pinky but something's telling me she's not the pink child and we also have these cloud ones now that could look good and if I can get a bit of light on the subject guys I can actually show you wouldn't that be fascinating all right so let's just give her a ceiling light and let's just give her this one here because I do like this one here so she has that and could I get her a little desk set in here for her homework now I'm looking at that one but we also have this one as well let me see that's quite cute isn't it colours 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 guys what colour are her walls like a pinky colour but very light so she can do a very light pink like a pastel she doesn't want pinky pink guys because pinky pink I just don't think would uh, go with her style and let's just get her like a normal wood stool because we're not made of bleeding money you know we're not she's had quite a bit spent on her so far we are also going to get her a bedside table and now they're going to start getting pricey beautiful standard white another lamp that was 70 simoleons that was extortion we're not getting her decorations but I am going to get her see I don't know whether to get her that one or to actually get her the monster under the bed light because she may or may not have issues with the monster under the bed who knows let's give her that one and I'm going to put it right about there but I am going to put move objects on so it's BB dot move objects and then I can take that off and put that right there and now she needs some curtains see guys I get into it I get too far into it but just some basic curtains will do and now if you press CTRL on number 9 while the curtains are a little bit lower with your move objects on that'll bring your curtain pole up a little bit and that's where we're going to put that and obviously I want them coloured see that didn't seem to do anything for me let's give her a bit of a quirk in her bedroom and then if we do this and we do this we need oh we don't actually need to do anything to the ceiling or the roof beautiful let's get back into gameplay guys right so Manda is like desperately due and I'm not sure when because she's still not having it we have an escapee you are Luna Luna please come back don't run away from home it's not that bad it isn't so Anna is, is doing her homework very good very good and Anna 
Uh, Mandy is now teaching our little Luna to talk. Well, she's got three minutes spare. So everything's pretty much good to go. The house is relatively clean apart from this, but she did get told off for it. And I'm going to get Mandy to clean that up at, and go to the toilet. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to get to use the toilet before she gives birth. Now she's gone into labour. Let's see what we're going to get. Or who we're going to get. Have baby at hospital. Now I'm sending her alone. And we'll just have to wait and see. Can you hire an... I don't think you can. So I'm just going to send them to daycare. And it's a baby boy. So what are we going to call him? First name. Randomise. Are we ready, guys? And it's Kurt Hobson. Hello. Whoa. Guys, I wasn't expecting this. This is also a girl. So that will be four girls in the house. And Randomise gives us... Elisha or Elisha. So we have twins once again, a boy and a girl. Now I'm going to move them into Mandy's room. And the fun is going to begin once again with the twins. So here are our twin babies. Absolutely excellent. But guys, are they going to be vampires or are they not? That is the question. Hmm. So, are they vampires? I think. Do you know what? Let me. I don't want to starve the baby. I don't want to do any of that. I've not got my cheats on, guys. I was going to go into cast to see whether they are actually vampires or not. Because I don't think it tells you. So, we have Kurt and we have Elisha. Our first male baby. And we are now on baby number five, guys and girls. Baby number five, we have a sentiment between Lisette and Luna. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. And I'm sure a little toddler will come up with something like that. But that's the way the game plays, guys. So, I think with the birth of our two potential vampire babies... Oh, well, that was uncalled for. Mandy acting maliciously towards Anna really left a sour taste in her mouth. It has Anna wishing Sims could be just nice to each other instead of whatever that was. After reflecting on this rude interaction, could it be that Anna dislikes malicious interactions? Well, yes. And now Mandy and Hannah have a difficult dynamic. Whoopsie. Well, guys, that seems to conclude that. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.